and welcome everyone to England's North West. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester United versus Everton. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea starts in goal. Christian Eriksen starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And in attack today, Cristiano Ronaldo plays alongside Lautaro Martinez. And here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Michael Keane in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you for attending the Theatre of Dreams. Enjoy the match. A game that on paper has a lot going for it. Everton get the proceedings underway. David. And return to Alan. Lisandro Martinez. Lindelof now. Joao Cancelo. Playing advantage here. United keep it. Casemiro. Well, as you can see from our graphic, United come into today's game leading the league in goals scored. In mentioning that, I hope I haven't put the commentator's curse on them, Stuart. Well, in attack, they've been so fluid at home. They just know exactly where the next pass should be going. They've got such a great understanding of the game plan and a lot of credit has to go to the coaching staff. Take it away. James Cristiano Ronaldo it might be it must go in surely there it is and he could scarcely have had an easier finish well as you can see the defending is really poor but he won't mind it's a simple finish for him Underway once more, Manchester United have hit the front. Cristiano Ronaldo. And intercepted it. Casemiro. More than decent this from United. Ronaldo. And Everton come away with it. This might have potential. Textbook defending inside the box. Oh, what an opportunity. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. An opportunity to level matters. And he puts it away confidently.
Well, as you can see from the replay, the keeper tries to read the penalty, but he's sent the wrong way, and it ends up looking a very easy finish. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Just the challenge that was required. Martinez. Here's Ronaldo. It's there for him. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Ericsson. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Still a chance. Oh, off the line. Cristiano Ronaldo. Making progress. Advantage, Manchester United. Cross towards that far post. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. Casemiro Martinez now with Cancelo magnificent challenge to win it back breaking at pace will they profit from this situation well the attack showed promise but easy work for the keeper in the end well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, but in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. It's got to be! Oh, it's off the post! Well, nothing comes of it. Well, they won't come closer than that, but they are creating chances, and surely a goal is coming. Well, it should boost their confidence but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. And he favours the inside route. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Right, news coming through from Caro Road. There's been a goal there. Alex can tell us about it. It's a goal for Villa. It was a low-driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from... Oh, hang on, Alex. Big chance here. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. And he's fired over the corner. It comes to nothing in the end. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. So no more time left. That concludes the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. And a fine tackle. Jonathan David. And plenty of room in the wide area. Smart stop. There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Well, I think he'll fit in well to their style of play. He's a skillful player, but the move will just bring out the best of him. It's a good signing for both him and the club. Time for a change then. Ericsson. Just the challenge that was required. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break.
Well, possibilities inside the box. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Now, options are plenty. Bruno Fernandes. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Well, they've lost the ball. 30 minutes to go then. Just a quick reminder, we'll have FA Cup fourth round action coming up for you live. It's Manchester United taking on Hull City. Well, that's a game to look forward to. Plenty to play for in that one. It should be a really entertaining game. Ronaldo! And a fine stop. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. United looking to forge ahead. Let's see if the corner helps them. Let's see about the delivery. Making sure nothing untoward happened. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, great read there to intercept. Plenty of options. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. And a substitution in the offing. Well, don't forget, action from the fourth round of the FA Cup is coming your way on EA TV. It's Everton facing Arsenal. Well, the cup always whets the appetite, and that one's no different. It should be a really good game. Oh, Stewart's a chance! Well kept out. Trying to deliver it accurately. Breaking at pace. And he might be through here. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And what an emphatic strike it is from Sancho. Hit with his laces, it's a great goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Very quick thinking there. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Right, something has happened at Carra Road, so let's send it over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Norwich City. It was a low-driven cross, and he was never going to miss from there. He must finish. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, as you can see, he gets everything right here. What a skillful volley that is. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Can they forge ahead? Foiling his opponent completely. Still pushing for a winner, but they dealt with the threat posed. Bruno Fernandes. Playing advantage here, United keep it, 
Oh, fine save. And it remains all square. Well, he saved his team there. That's a big moment for the keeper. Well, the referee took note of the earlier infringement. And a booking it is now. And no worries for the goalkeeper. Casimiro. On to Bruno Fernandes. And flag raised. Offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. And they have possession again. And we've entered the final five minutes. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And he clears it out of harm's way. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Bruno Fernandes. In with a chance. And the ball is loose. Splendid defending. Really good high press. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, a superb save. So the final whistle, and at the end of the game, well, neither side could get the better of the other. A point apiece. Manchester United, the draw from their point of view. What did you make of it? Well, we knew they'd score goals. They usually do. But they were too easy to break down today. The space between the midfield players and defenders was far too big. And that, for me, would be cause for concern.